Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an online course website. Now, let me show you the final website we're going to design before we can go into the tutorial. So right here, as you can see, this is a fictitious website about baking. So here is our landing area. I'm going to show you how to design this. On the bottom here, I'm going to show you how to add all our code so that it looks, um, it looks like this. But of course, if you have more courses, you can always add them over here as your site grows. Now here, when you, click, when you click on how to make bread, it's gonna take you to this landing page. Now this landing page, I'm giving it away for free and you can customize it, make it look the way you want. So this is the landing page. And as you can see here, it looks related to what we are, what we are selling. And this is where the video would go. On the bottom here, you can see we have this bread uh, slightly appearing here on this section. And over here, this is where you can add your own image as the author. And then here you can add the course details. Now, let's say someone wants to buy this course for $97. When they hit the buy now button, it's going to take us to a customized checkout page, which is created using cart flows. And again, this is highly customizable. So I'm going to be showing you how to put all this together. So before we get started, I'd like to say if you buy either Divi, cart flows or Learn Dash, I have some bonuses for you. All that information is in the video description below. Pretty much, I'm going to give you all the courses that you need in order for you to build your own websites. All right, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so let me show you what we've uh, installed on our website. So I'm going to come over here to plugins and then click on installed plugins. So here we have Learn Dash. And then the next plugin here is free, it's WooCommerce. This is going to act as our payment processor. So this payment gateway allows us to accept payments from anyone who wants to use PayPal and anyone that wants to use a credit card or a debit card. Okay, so WooCommerce is going to be our payment gateway. The next thing we need to do now is to install Cutflow. Cutflow is also going to act as our funnel. So we are able to make sure that people have a very nice looking checkout page. So to install Cutflow, what we're going to do is I'm just going to come over here, add new to add a new plugin. And then I'm going to search for it. So here it is. I'm going to click install now and then activate. So we might as well start configuring Cutflow. So I'm going to come over here to start wizard. And then I'm just going to click on let's go. So page builder here, I'm going to choose Divi because that's what I'm using right now. So I'm going to select it, click on next. And then for our checkout, uh, we're just going to say yes here. And then here for this training, I'm just going to say no thanks. And then click on create flow. So by default, we have all these templates. So you know what? We're going to come back to this later on. So I'm just going to close this. All right. So why don't we start by creating our courses? So I'm going to come over here to learn dash LMS. I'm going to come to courses. So on the top right here, we have this button which says add new. So let's add our first course. I'm going to click on add new. So we're going to give our course a name. So this one here is going to be a course on how to create cupcakes. And then what I'm going to do over here to the right, I am going to just remove the sidebar. And then I'm going to add a featured image and then set my featured image. So since this one here is about cupcakes, I'm going to select my image here for the cupcake. Click on select. And then I'm going to come over here to builder. So this is where I can start adding all my lessons. So I can start here by adding my first lesson. So we can say uh, introduction, and then I'm going to add another one, add lesson. So this one here is, let's say, how to prepare the flour. Now I'm just adding these at random because I'm not really a baker. So I'm just thinking of topics that could uh, relate to anything to do with baking. So how to prepare the flour, setting the oven temperature. I'm going to add this lesson. So I'm just going to add a few more here. All right, so as you can see, we have these lessons all set. The next stage now is to go into each and every lesson and add the uh, content that needs to go into that. So I'm going to come over here to Vimeo. I've just found this random video, so I'm going to use this as an example. So I'm going to start here with introduction. Now, what I normally do is I open these in new tabs so that I can track what I've done. So I'm going to click here on edit and open this in a new tab. So I'm going to add my video here. i am just pasted my link. And then next, I'm also going to add some text. So I'm going to come over here to Lorem 2 and then just copy a bunch of text, which will go with our video. Okay, so I'm going to paste it here, just like that. Click on update. What we need to do now is to go in and add all our videos and our content into the remainder of these lessons. All right, so I've added all my lessons and the text that goes with it. So this course is absolutely complete. I'm going to hit here on publish. 
and then I'm going to publish one more time. All right, great. Now, the next stage is to come over here to the settings. So over here, this is where you can decide whether you're gonna give access to uh, everyone that wants to visit this uh, course. Uh, so you can leave it here open. You can also set it to free. You can also set it to buy now. And look here, what happens? When I click on buy now, you can actually set your price for the course here. And uh, But the best option is to set it to closed because what we're going to do is we're going to use cut flows to control this. So my price here is going to be, let's say 149. In fact, I, I won't even need to add a button URL because Cutflows is going to control that. So pretty much this is uh, all that we have here. So I'm going to click on View Course and I've opened it in a new tab. So this is our course page. And as you can see, we have all our course content here. And these are the lessons. So if I click here on Introduction, it's going to open a new tab and then it shows me how my lessons look. Now, I know you might be saying, well, but this looks ugly. We have this sidebar here. There's nothing in this area. What can we do to make it look nice? Now, let me show you one quick thing that you can do to make the learning experience much, much better. So back over here. So what you need to do is to come over here to settings. Now, the feature that I'm talking about here is called a focus mode. So I'm gonna click here on focus mode. I'm just gonna activate it. And then on the size here, I'm gonna set it to 1180 and then I'm gonna click save. Now we're going to go back to that page, which I showed you, which didn't look really nice. And then all I have to do is to refresh this, and then you're going to see a different interface. So this is now the interface that we have. We have the text here on the bottom. We can mark here as complete. And over here, we also have the option to mark it as complete. And then on the left here, we can also go to our lessons, just like that. So now that we've created one lesson, we need to go back and create another course, in fact, two more courses uh, similar to what we're in the process that's similar to what we've done here. Now, just as a point uh, that I need to make very clear here, now that we've act activated focus mode, uh, once you've done this, it's going to have the same layout on all the other courses that you add on. So it's only activated once and that's it. And what you can also do here is you can also play around with the accent color. Now, because this is a baking site, we need something in the reds or browns. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Click on save. And now I'm gonna come back over here and refresh this. And then you're gonna notice that now we have a color here that works with the website that we're trying to build. So that's looking great. Over here on the bottom as well, you can see the buttons here have changed color. That's looking fantastic. Right, so let's continue now and let's add more courses on our website. So again, the process is the same. You come over here to, pro to courses and then you want to add your second one. Now this one here is about uh, cupcakes. Let's add another one about bread, okay? So I'm gonna click here, add new, how to make bread. And then I'm gonna set my featured image. This is the bread. I'm going to hit select. I'm going to publish it. Next, I'm going to come over here to the builder. So as before, I'm just going to go ahead and add all my lessons. Okay, so now I've added all my lessons. The next stage, as we did before, is to open these pages in new tabs and then add all the content in. So what I'm gonna do for now is to close all these tabs that I opened before and then start one more time. So I'm just gonna copy my dummy text here and then I'm gonna open all my lessons in new tabs. I'm gonna come over here to the first one. I'm gonna start by adding my content. Okay, so now let's take a look at our courses page. So this one here is how to make bread. I'm going to click here on view. So you can see here we have our four lessons. And if I click here on this lesson, it's going to take us into this mode, which looks beautiful, by the way. All right, great. So now that we have two courses, you can also go ahead and add even more courses. So this is just two, but you can add three, four, five, six, however many you want. That's the beauty of using LearnDash. Now that we have all this set, why don't we now go ahead and create the landing page, which is going to house all our courses. Right, so I'm gonna come back over here and we're gonna go into our builder. But before I do that, I'm just gonna close these tabs. So now let's go to our dashboard. I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on all pages. So I have a page here called home. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna build the, page, the landing page from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead here and click on edit with the Divi Builder. I'm gonna build this from scratch. And over here, we're going to start with a full width header. So I'm gonna select my header here. 
Right, so for our title here, I'm gonna say learn how to bake. We're gonna add some dummy text here. And then we're gonna go in and make customizations to our button. So I'm gonna click here on this little icon. So for our button, button one, I'm gonna choose activate styles for button. And then we're gonna start adding our background color and so on. So I'm gonna add my background color. So here for my border, I'm gonna get rid of it, get rid of the border radius. And then over here for my button, I am going to set this to bold. So that pre that's pretty much what I need to do here for my button. And next, what we're gonna do now is to come back over here to content and add a background image. So I'm gonna click the third tab here, click this plus button, and we're going to use this image right here. Click upload an image. So now we have an image here in the background. Next, I'm gonna come over here to design because I need all this information here aligned to the left. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here to text. In fact, I'm gonna come over here to layout and align everything over there to the right. So now that we have all this to the right, the next stage is to make this full screen. So I'm gonna click here on yes. And now we have all this information here full screen and that's looking great. Now we need to uh, work on this a little bit and make it much easier to read. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool and this is gonna take me straight to heading one. So in, on heading one here, I can play around with my font so I can choose default, um, change that to pop-ins for example, and then I am going to make it all caps. In fact, you know what? I may not even need to do all caps there. Let me just leave it as it is. And then I'm just gonna bump up the size over here, just like that. So maybe I'm gonna go with about 56. And then now I need to work on this text here, this paragraph text. And again, I'm going to increase my size to about say maybe 24. And then I'm going to change my font as well from default to pop-ins. Now I need to add some line height over here because things are a bit too close. So I'm gonna go with three VW. The next stage is, as you can see, this content here is spanning uh, quite a bit into our image here. So let's adjust that. So to do that, in fact, you know what? This 24 is a bit too much. Let me just bring it down to maybe about 20 maybe even 20. All right, so to do that, we're gonna come over here to sizing. Okay, so for our content width, I'm just gonna reduce this down to about, uh, let's go with maybe 50%. So now that I've gone down to about 50%, you notice that our text here um, has gone into two lines. Let's fix that. So I'm gonna click here on this little uh, brush tool. Now the good thing about using this brush tool is it takes you directly to the item that you need to make changes to. So right now my text size is 56. I'm gonna reduce that to about, let's say 45. Okay, and I noticed that this could actually even stand out even more if we change this to bold. Okay, I think bold looks much better. Now that we have this, we notice that there's quite a lot of distractions here on the left. So what we could do is we could actually go in and make this side a bit dark. So I'm gonna come back over here to content, click on background, and I'm gonna come to the gradient here. So click this plus button. So my gradient here is, my first color here is gonna be black, and then, my second color here is going to be transparent. Now for this gradient to show, I would need to come over here and place the gradient above the image, just like that. Now we notice that uh, something is wrong here. That's because our gradient is not in the right angle. So we're gonna change that. So I'm gonna drag this until we have this gradient over here to the right. So now we can see that this looks much better. Let me do it before and after. So that's before and that's after. So that's looking great already. I'm gonna go ahead and save. So as you can see this image here, uh, it doesn't really look nice because my line height is a bit too much here and also we need to add a bit more text to balance it out. So I've made some adjustments here and this is looking way much better. Okay, great. The next stage now is to add a new section. So I'm gonna click this plus button, click on regular and we're going to need a section which is going to have our title here. So I'm just gonna search for my text module here. And then we're just gonna say all courses. Okay, I'm gonna click on save changes. Next, we are going to uh, add another one. So I'm gonna click this plus button, single column. So this is where we're going to have our courses. So I'm gonna select text, choose that. I'm gonna come back and work on it. All right, so now that we say we have this in place, let's go ahead now and delete this section that comes by default with Divi. 
Okay, so that's looking great. I'm gonna save this home page now. Now, let me show you what you need to do next. So we need to be able to show all our courses here. So in order for us to do that, we're going to need some code. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard here, but I'm gonna open this in a new tab to save me time. So if we come over here to Learn Dash and then click on Add-ons, we are going to uh, add this course grid because this allows us to have our grid on, to, on, on our page. So I'm gonna click Install now, and this is the short code that we need. So I'm just gonna copy that, activate the plugin, and then back over here now, I'm gonna go in, click on this gear icon to go into my text uh, settings and paste my short code. And then I'm gonna save. And now we can see that we have our two uh, courses here. So I'm just gonna hit save. And then I'm just gonna exit the visual builder here so we can have a look at this properly. So there we go. These are our two courses. And because I'm, I'm logged in, it's gonna show me as enrolled. So this is looking great. Uh, if there's a price here, as again, it will show the price of the actual course here. So this is how we're going to show our page. Now notice what happens. If I click here on see more, this is gonna take me to my course landing page, as you can see, which looks great. But now I wanna show you the best way to present this because as you can see, this doesn't really look nice. So I'm gonna hit back here. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, let's style this page, make it look much better. So I'm gonna go and enable the Visual Builder here. So this title here, Courses, I'm gonna go into my settings and then just do a few changes to it. So first of all, I'm gonna center it. I'm gonna make it all caps. And then I'm gonna increase the size, change the font from default to Poppins. Okay, um, I think this regular is fine. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to increase some letter spacing like that. And then I'm gonna add a divider. So I'm gonna click here on insert divider module. And then I'm gonna stylize it. So I'm gonna come over here to design line. I'm gonna give it a color. And then I'm going to click here on sizing, make it slightly bold. I think maybe three should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the width because it's a bit too long. And then I'm gonna center it. Maybe we might need to reduce this a bit more. So all courses, that's my title there. I'm gonna save this. Now, as you can see, we have a bit of space here. So I'm just gonna drag this and just get rid of this dead space that we have. And then over here as well, you can see we have a lot of space inside. I'm just gonna drag this. And then on the top here, I'm also going to increase to about maybe a padding of maybe 100. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm pretty much happy with this. I'm gonna save this page. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to go in and set our landing page for our courses. So as we did before, I'm gonna come to Learn Dash LMS. I am going to uh, come over here to settings. In fact, I need to go to add-ons. So over here, the add-on that we need is the WooCommerce for Learn Dash. I'm gonna click here on install, activate the plugin. So my plugin is activated now. I'm going to come back over here and this, just grab my title. So how to make bread. So this is going to be the first one that we're gonna work on, uh, how to make bread. So let's come over here now into our dashboard. So here on WooCommerce, what we need to do is to add a brand new product. So I'm gonna click here on add new and then our product name is going to be how to make bread. Like that, great. And now here we can also add a description, but you know what, we don't really need to do that. Now over here, you'll notice when you click on this drop down, now we have a product uh, uh, item, which is called courses. So I'm gonna select course, and then I'm gonna choose here for the related course is going to be how to make bread. Now let's give it a price. So maybe this price here is gonna be 97 uh, pounds. If you're in the US, it could be $97 or wherever you are in the world. So I'm gonna set it to 97. So now that we've set all this, this is looking great. Now I'm gonna hit publish, okay? So we've created a product. Now we need to go into cut flows and create our flow. So I'm gonna come over here, click on flows. Let's start, let's click on add new. Now we're just gonna import a basic template here. Click on import. Okay, great. So the first thing we're gonna do here on the checkout page, I'm gonna click here on edit. In fact, before I do that, let me just give this a name. So my flow is going to be how to make bread. Okay, so here now, let me just hit update. So here on the checkout page, you can see it says no product assigned. So I'm gonna come over here, click on edit. All right, so what we're gonna do here on this checkout page is to first add our product that we created here in WooCommerce in the first step. So here it is, how to make bread. I've just clicked on add. 
Now, what we need to do next is to just hit update. I've already done that. So that means our product now is in place. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to uh, making changes to this, in fact, let me um, come over here and let's build this on the front end so you can see how easy it is to customize this checkout page. So over here, we can actually go in and delete all these sections that we don't need. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this as well. So I'm gonna start my design from scratch. So over here, I'm gonna click this plus button and add a single column. And in here, we're gonna add an image module. And then we can add an image of our bread since this is about bread. Okay, so that's a bit too much. I'm gonna save this, but I can always come in here and split this into two. And then over here on the right, I can add a text module or I can even add a testimonial. So let me add a testimonial here. Okay, so my text that goes here, I'm gonna click here on image and let me find an image here. So I'm gonna go with this lady here, click upload. So now we have a lady in there. And for our text, why don't we first come over here to elements and get rid of that quote that's there on the top. Okay, so pretty much uh, the name, let's update that. And this could be Samantha. Okay, great. So we have a testimonial there. I'm gonna click on save changes. And then over here, what we could also add is we could just make people know that this is a checkout page. So why don't we add a title here? And here we're gonna have text mode. I'm gonna call this checkout. So as you can see, we can really customize our checkout page here and make it look the way we want. So I'm gonna make this heading two. And then over here on our design, I'm gonna come over here to my text, make sure it's centered, all caps, and I'm gonna make it bold. Next, I am going to come over here to my heading text, heading two. From default, we can change it to pop-ins. And we are going to change our color here, change it from regular to bold. And then we're gonna increase the, sli the size slightly. Okay, so pretty much that's looking great. All I have to do now is to drag this to the top. So now this is our checkout page. I may even need to reduce this space here. Okay, so now I'm gonna save my page and then we're gonna have a look at this layout. So I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder and this is now our checkout page. So over here, we can add whatever we need. We can add a video, we can add an image as I've done here. We can also have a testimonial here. And of course we have labeled it checkout. And then here is our product, how to make bread, $97. If you have a coupon code, you can add it here, click apply. And these are the details that you need to enter. So you can enter the name and all that good stuff and continue to check out. Okay, so that's all great. Now let's work on our landing page. So over here now, let's hit on dashboard. And then we want to come back over here to flows, click on how to make bread. So we just worked on the checkout page. Now let's work on the landing page. So I'm gonna click here on edit. So I'm gonna scroll down here because there's only one thing that I need right here. So I'm just gonna double click that and hit copy. So this link here is what I need. It's, it's the, the link to the button. This is very, very important. Okay, so I've just copied that. Now let's design this layout. So I'm gonna come over here to build on front end. Now at this stage, you're probably thinking, oh, well, I have really have to design this whole page. It's gonna take a lot of time. Now I have some great news for you because I've created a free e-learning template, which you can actually use. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is to uh, link to uh, the post I've added in my video description. So when you get the file, it's just a single file. All you have to do is to drag it into position here, just like that. And then once you drag it, you hit on a replace content and then import Divi Builder layout. So the layout that I designed for you, which I'm giving away for free, is versatile, you can use it for any type of course that you are creating out there, so it's really, really good. So now it's just importing, it's gonna replace everything that we have here on this layout. Okay, so here we go. Just like magic, it's all gone. Now we have this landing page, fantastic. So all we have to do now is to pretty much come in here and change the images around and customize it to your type of product. So let's go ahead and do that. So. First of all, I need to get rid of this white space. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. And then I'm gonna click here on design spacing. And we need to add a margin of minus 80 to fix that problem. So as you can see, now it's gone. Okay, so the next stage now is to change this. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how easy it is to change, uh, to change 
all these settings. So this one here is about how to make bread. So I'm just gonna type here, how to make bread. So that's the name of our course, save that. This could be a description. Now, when it comes to the video here, we can also customize this. So because it's all about how to bake, I'm gonna come over here to overlay and change this image. So the image that we need is the image to do with bread. So I'm gonna select my image here, click upload. So now I have my image as my overlay, I'm gonna save. Next, over here now, we need an image to cover this back, um, this back area. So here, I'm gonna click on the third tab, and then I'm gonna find the image that goes with my design. So I'm just gonna go with this one here just to save me time. Okay, so that's looking great. So we can also come over here to cover, set it to fit, and then this is just gonna fit you know, your area right here. All right, so now that I've added my background image, I'm just gonna hit save. I know we can't really see this, but we can always go in and make some adjustments to that if we need to. And I'll just show you quickly how you do that. So back over here, if I hit on background, so this is what you need to do, is the gradient that you need to play around with. So if I come over here to my first color, notice what happens. So if I drag this slider down, it's gonna reveal more and more in the background. So I'm just gonna set it up here so it's not really disturbing what we have here. So again, this area here, you can go in and make your changes, but if you don't need it, you can just delete it. Now, over here on the price, we said the price was 97. Let's go ahead and fix that. So here we have, um, let's say it was 197, and now it's 97. I'm gonna save. Now remember, earlier on, I copied that uh, link. So that link needs to come over here on the button. So I'm gonna click on my button module settings, click here on link, and then I'm gonna add my button URL, and I want this to open in a new tab. I'm gonna save. Now, when someone comes onto this page and they click buy now, it's gonna take them straight to the checkout page. That's why I added that link. Okay, now over here, you can always go back in here and, and because this is to do with money, let's change that image. I'm gonna click here, click on background, and then I'm, again, I'm gonna click here in this area and change that image. So the image I'm gonna go with is Okay, since this is about bread, let's go with this one here. So now you can see the bread is right there in the background. So that's looking great. I'm gonna save that. Meet the author, uh, the author. this you can change, swap this for your own image. And then this course is for you if, and then you can just add all your information in here. Again, if you wanna change the colors, you can play around with the colors, change them. Testimonials, you can also change the testimonials. It's very, very easy to use Divi. All right, so now that we have this page all set, I'm gonna save it and then we're gonna exit the Visual Builder. So now, as you can see, this is our page, and now it's relating to baking. So now that we're all set, this is on our, our landing page, and then when I scroll down here, and I click on uh, how to make bread, this is now going to take us to our landing page. And on this landing page, as you can see, this is our design, it looks really, really nice. So from our landing page here, if we click on Buy Now, this is now going to take me to my checkout page. And this is how you create your pages for your courses. So that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you have any questions regarding this, you can just leave your questions in the comments box below. Thank you very, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.